Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing illustrative math, grade eight, unit two, lesson seven, practice problems. Our first question here says triangle DEF is a dilation of triangle ABC with a scale factor of two. In triangle ABC, the largest angle measure is 82 degrees. What's the largest angle measure in triangle DEF? Well, do the angles change when we dilate something? No, they don't. What's our largest angle? It's gonna be the same. I clicked on pen. There we go. Draw two polygons that are similar, but could be mistaken for not being similar. Polygons that are similar, but could be mistaken for not being similar. There's a triangle. They're similar, but they could be mistaken for not being similar because they're rotated so they don't look quite that, quite the same. Why are they similar? Well, all the side lengths and angles are the same. Those are just quick sketches. Your answer for this can vary quite a bit. It's just looking for something where the polygons are similar, but look like they could be mistaken for not being similar. Draw two polygons that are not similar, but could be mistaken for being similar. I had that and what if one is a square and all the angles are 90 and the other one has two 89 degree angles and two 91 degree angles then they would be really close to the same thing but not similar because the angles are really close but not quite the same all 90s, 289s, 291s. These two triangles are similar. Find the side lengths of A and B. Well, what's the scale factor? To go from this side to its corresponding side, to go from three to go from this three to its corresponding side, which is nine, we need a scale factor of three. So to go from this five to its corresponding B, we also need a scale factor of three. Five times three is 15. Now going in the other direction, we would have to Multiply 9 by 1 third to get 3. Multiply 15 by 1 third to get 5. Multiply 21 by 1 third to get A. So A is 21 times 1 third, which is 7. Shrink that down a little bit so my head's not in the way. Jada claims that B prime, C prime, D prime is a dilation of BCD using A as the center of dilation. What are some ways you can convince Jada that her claim is not true? Well, if it's the center of dilation, every point so that looks like B would travel along that. C 
C looks like it would travel along that. And D would travel along that. So that looks okay. Which means now what would we have to use to convince her that that is not true? We could check the scale factor of everything, or we could look at the angles. Any angle after a dilation should be congruent to another angle. Well, it looks to me like this is an obtuse angle. That's just a little bit more than 90. And this is an acute angle, which is a little bit less than 90. The angles don't match. You could also check for a consistent scale factor, either for the length from AB versus AB prime, or you could check for the scale factor from BC to B prime C prime, and the scale factor from CD to C prime D prime. There are a few different ways you can look at that one. The easiest one is those two angles don't match. Okay, now what does this want us to do? Draw a horizontal segment AB. There's AB. Rotate segment AB 90 degrees counterclockwise around point A. So opposite direction of a clock around point A. It's going to be the same length. Let's call that point C. That's going to be a right angle if we rotated 90 degrees. Rotate segment AB 90 degrees clockwise around point B. So now we want to rotate AB clockwise around B. It should be the same length. That's not a very good job drawing a line. Hey, Mr. Boss can do a better job. Let's call that point D. That's going to be a right angle because they're all rotations of each other. All those side lengths need to be congruent to each other. So now we have our original segment, 90 degree rotation, another 90 degree rotation. Describe a transformation on segment AB that you could use to finish building a square. So, it says transformation on segment AB, which means we can't just rotate AC. We have to do something to AB. So what I'm going to say is translate up by the length of AB. Translate AB up by the length of AB. And what will that give us? Top of our square. Anything else? That's the last problem on this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.